Welcome back to the research server. I'm here with Scotty. Hi. And we are covering all the new stuff from Genesis 2. And today I just heard you poop. I just heard no, you, you poop. You, you tried to step away, didn't you? You tried to step <laughs> yeah. I was trying to be discreet about it, okay? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. Oh, this new crazy mother. We're covering all the new stuff on Genesis 2. Today is the day where we cover the Striders. I'm very much looking forward to it. We're about to tame this bad boy right here. And then we have spawned a bunch of different Striders so that we can cover every head attachment and every body attachment. I'm really looking forward to this. And we're just going to dive right in. Guys, if you're looking for Genesis 2 content, whether it's a full playthrough that I'm going to be starting here real soon or just covering all the new stuff, make sure to give me a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So this is actually just a level 15 and what you're going to need is you have to do so many missions to actually even be able to complete, like to be able to tame the strider and you're going to have to have muta gel. Now the muta gel is in my last slot here and you can get the muta gel from the, like the different asteroid areas out in the void. So apparently they dropped from the orange and the white asteroid voids. Uh, so that's with the ambergris and with the black pearls, you have a chance to find them. You can also find them in like the scary down under freaking uh, Rockwell area, which I have no interest in going into. So I'll just take it from the void, right? So we've got our muted gel and we've completed the five missions. It's only five because uh, we wanted to tame a level 15 and that's the minimum amount. I didn't want to do any more missions. And when I say do any more, since we're on the research server, do you know you can actually cheat your way through missions with codes if you wanted to do that on your own private server? I can leave the uh, code in the description below so that if you want to be able to play with the Striders, you can go ahead and just load into the mission, put in this code, complete it, and then you can you can check them out on your own server. Other than do taming it. I guess if you wanted to do tame it, you could do it that way too. Listen, we're going to tame this legit anyways. <laughs> okay, so Scotty, what do I expect? Okay, so you're going to uh, walk up to it and give it some the mutagen, and then it's going to tell you to target a certain part of its body. So it might be its tail, it might be its head, and then you'll have to go to that part and start hacking. Okay. And then when you hack, it'll put a little mini game at the bottom of your screen, and you have to click your mouse or hit a button whenever uh, the little bars line up in the center. You okay. kind of see when you, when you get into it. What are the chances I screw the first one up? Uh, pretty high. And what happens when I screw this up? Uh, it'll shock you and shock the strider, and then you'll have to wait a little bit before you can attempt it again. Fantastic. Okay, well, let's just do it. Muta gel. Uh, begin hacking. Boop. Incoming protocol override. Must wander. What happened? <laughs> Did you shock already? I... It didn't... I didn't see nothing. I was reading the screen, and then the next thing I knew, I got shocked was I supposed to? Okay, so it says must wander a bit before another attempt is made. Is Weird. that 4,800? Okay, no. No, so we, it's another a 40 seconds. Distance. Oh, it's it has to. Distance. Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh, it, it's not even. Since it's walking in circles, it's not even like uh -huh. decreasing. Oh, that's kind of lame. So where am I looking for this mini game? At the bottom of the screen? Yeah, it would be in the bottom center of the screen. I don't know why he instantly shocked you, though. That's kind of weird. It wasn't really. In like, stuff came up on my screen, but it didn't, like. Maybe I was reading the middle of the screen and I should have been reading the bottom. I don't know. I feel like it should just count the amount of area he's walked. If he walks backwards, whatever. You know what I mean? Goes, okay. oh, yeah. we were down to 700 and now we're back up to 1300. Four Stop it, Strider. Like, what do we do? How do we get it out of this circle walking loop of death? Well, you could punch it and lead it off and then hope it calms down. Hope it calms down? Yeah. <laughs> well, Oh, jeez. He stomped me into outer space. Okay. So now if I bring it over this way. Can you see the um distance on it? I feel like surely. Nope. Okay, he's already dropped aggro. That's probably uh, far enough. Yeah, you can you can try again now. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. His butt is blinking though. Does that mean I failed my hack attempt? Maybe. After so many hack attempts, does he just blow up? Possibly, I don't know. So do I need to like follow the guy? Oh no, I have to get four more muta gel. It also says, what does it say? Time remaining, uh, minute 56, affinity to gain 30%. So for me, it says target left hip to begin hacking. Oh, okay. So I don't have so to do the muta gel again. So okay. where sparking. Oh, that makes sense. Begin hacking. Incoming protocol, attention, prepare. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> okay, okay. I saw it this time. <laughs> 
So when all the green squares uh, line up in the line, that's when I want to click. That's when you have to click. Yeah, okay, and then I it'll see. It'll repeat itself a couple more times. So just keep an eye on it. This is actually really awesome though, because I was expecting to have to feed it more mutagel. You know what I mean? And so the fact that you can just let it get far enough away and then attempt another hack is kind of nice. Also, I think when you're you're starting to hack it, it'll put a little circle on the ground and you need to stay inside that circle. So you'll have to walk with it while you're hacking. Okay, I was a little confused about that too. Uh, like the first time I tried to walk with it and I was worried that that messed it up. Okay, keep walking. No, you can, you can keep doing your hacking while you're walking. Don't turn around, keep going the other way. Why must everything be so difficult? Because it's arc. Because it, it very much is arc. We were down to 300 and now we're only back up to 3,000, so. 3,000. <laughs> All right, Strider. I'm done playing games with you. Oh, no. I hope you do not chase me. Oh, they're kind of quick. I actually really like the, the way that this one looks, too. Okay, he lost aggro. Okay, he should be out of his circle now. All right, there's no way. How many times do I have to link these up? Just once? Um, I think for his level, it'll be three. I'm beginning my hacking protocol. Bleep, blap, bloop. Oh, 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 I'm somewhat of a... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Ooh, I'm somewhat of a hacking attention. master. Let's go, nice. baby! Striders. Ooh. I understand they were meant as robotic work. Okay, I see now. Cleaning up toxins and harvesting resources. Huh. I'm listening to so what she cool. says. Imagine climbing up on one of those and riding it around. Imagine? Oh, that is really cool. And see, now that you've seen the video, guys, you don't have to screw it up like I did the first couple of times. You actually know what you're looking for. Uh, so I guess it's just automatically saddled. Yep. Dude, very cool. Hold on. I want to. Here we go. So let's check this bad boy out at level 15. Uh, we're talking about it tamed out to level 22, 8,800 health, 143 melee, and it has 1,300 pounds of weight. It says no batteries. I turned it on. Charge. 210 of 210. What does that do? Does it have to be turned on uh, to that's, ride? That's the transmitter that you just turned on. I know that. I know that. Okay. I was... So here's the transmitter, guys, that I just turned on. It says Strider transmitter because that's what it is. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then you... There. Okay. There's the transmitter inventory. Fantastic. And there's something else. What is this? Oh! A tech sleeping pod. A tech sleeping pod on it. So you can fast travel... Uh, or I guess spawn on here too, huh? Yep, you can respawn at your strider. Nice. Transmitter doesn't seem to have the ability to... You can't change servers from it, huh? You know what? This also isn't tied to any other server, so yeah, maybe that's so it. I'm pretty sure you can transfer your character and you can transfer items, but you can't move your dinosaurs with it. Oh, okay. Well, if that's not accurate, guys, let me know in the comments below. I'd really be curious to know. Um, okay, so we've got the tech sleeping pod, which is really cool. Now, this surely doesn't heal you. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, think about a sneak attack. We can, this is literally a Trojan horse. You ride it in under the guise of being a friendly PVPer, but and then in reality, boom! I guess the if you had like 10 of them. There. Oh, the wheels are spinning. Scotty, if I ever come into your base with a strider, please trust me that no one is hiding in the bed. Uh-huh, yeah, I'll totally trust that. Come smack me around a little bit. Oh, okay. Let me stand right here so you don't punch me off, okay? I want to see if it heals me at all. Punch me more. More. Is that all you got, Scotty? You can't punch yeah. any harder than that? Oh, this is cute, dude. Oh, okay. I'm going to get... Oh, <laughs> oh, Why did you shoot the strider? <laughs> you animal. No, it's not healing me any quicker, for sure. Boo. Okay, but that's, that's cool to know. I mean, I think that's kind of nice. You can't just ride around and and heal on it, but it is nice that it works as like a bed. Yep. How quick is this thing? Ooh. Okay, and I see this one. I see the different attachments as one, two, and three up there. Well, I guess before the one, two, and three. And then whenever you go into the inventory, it shows that this one has a pulse cannon rig and a resource attractor rig. Yeah, so if you look in different areas, he'll stomp different feet and do like double back foot kick and stuff. Okay, so there's a single foot stomp. Okay, let me that's look behind him. Left, yeah. So you're saying maybe because I was in K mode, maybe that's the problem here. So if I look this way and stomp. Okay, he stomped the right foot. When I look this way and stomp. Bro, he is like, so what all does he harvest? He, I see he's definitely getting berries. 
Uh, I don't see fiber or anything. Let's look at wood and uh, thatch. Dust thou get wood and thatch. Rocks, maybe? I mean, I, I think this is big enough that it could do it. Def okay, it, it gets a lot of thatch and not so much wood, it seems like. But it will at least carry, like, grab it. Doesn't seem to get fiber. Let's look at rocks. Okay, straight down he does like a, a jump up with both feet. Let me try one more time. Okay, it does not appear like that doesn't make no sense. We can't even break the rocks with it. Very cool though. I like that it gathers stuff because that already yes. has like holy guacamole's worth of stuff on it. All right, there's no use in checking out this other stuff, the uh the cannon rig or the attractor rig, because we have spawned over here every type of of head rig and body rig available and we're gonna cover them all all right scotty so i saw like a a battery option oh i <laughs> just tried to abandon it i'm sorry you we still love you just not as much as these <laughs> i saw something about the battery in there so what is that i'm not sure what they use the batteries for but if you put empty charge batteries in they will charge them up over time oh okay so it but doesn't like, like they they passively gain their own charge. I guess they're like solar powered or something. Can they run out of charge? Uh, they can, but then it starts recharging pretty quick. And you can also level up their charge capacity like you can with a uh, light pet. Oh, I see that. So I guess the charge capacity is essentially their actual stamina. And once that runs out, you just have to sit still for a while and that comes back. Yeah, it comes back pretty quick. Let me try it on this level 15 real quick because... He probably has less charge capacity. Okay, boom! Here I go. But there's not an icon for it, huh? Charge capacity uh, hasn't dropped at all. Do I need to, like, shoost from my head dome? You know, he should have an option to pull things from, like, um, a mining drill. Well, we'll cover that in a second. I see that the charge capacity went down, and it was draining with the pulse cannon attachment, I guess. I thought oh, okay. maybe that would keep them from moving, but it definitely doesn't, right? That The movement comes from their stamina. Let's check out the things on these other ones. So there's a button, consume charge from batteries. Maybe that is when the charge capacity is dropped, it'll fill them back up. Fill them back up. Let me let me try that on this level 15. So I've literally never used these charge batteries before. Okay, this one's kind of full. I'm gonna take this one and use it on, on here. Maybe they have to be moving to charge it back up. Now, let me shoost the head cannon. Bing, bang, boom, draining it down like you do. Okay, that's drained. Now consume charge from batteries. Oh, there we go. So, okay, that instantly charges it back up. And so now that charge battery got drained down to 210 from the 400 that it was, or 500 that it was at. Let me shoot that down. Consume charge from batteries, instantly charges it back up. Okay. Okay, that makes sense why you would want that on there then. So it's just a way if you have batteries on it to constantly recharge that charge cycle so that you can keep using your whatever weapon is on it. You just need to go in and hit the button that I talked about and then apparently forgot about consume charge from batteries. Did you get that, Scotty? I teach you something today? I did. Yes, yeah. you did. I'm kind of a genius sometimes like that. I wouldn't go that far. So this, so this one, uh, what do we have on it? We'll start here. We've got an excavation rig and we've got an attractor rig. So... According to the wiki, the excavation rig harvests everything but extinction light poles, benches, and tables with its scatter beam. Requires a uh, charge to keep active, then additional charge to fire their excavation beam. Exact numbers are difficult to obtain due to recharge rates and irregular drain intervals. Okay. Um, no, while connected to the dedicated storage, the tech strider will only harvest nodes that contain that particular resource. Okay, so we need to try and sync this up with a dedicated storage, apparently. And then the other thing is the attractor rig. The attractor rig uh, passively reduces carry weight of most, if not all items and resources by 65%. By holding E on PC to bring up the radio menu, there is an option to connect a player's held mining drill to the Strider. Any resources obtained by the mining drill will go to the Strider while in range, as indicated by purple spheres gravitating to the Strider. When resources transfer, which is instant, a blue beam will go from the drill to the strider. While this effect is active, it consumes five charge per second, which most striders can maintain. Okay, so we need to check that out first. Let's see. So we got set drain from battery mode, disable passive battery charging. We want the 
Oh, that's cool. Enable regrowing foliage while walking. I wonder if you do you have to put anything on it for that? Nope. So it just automatically does it. You don't need like. Yep. Oh, that's sick. Enable resource collection from nearby mining drills. Boom. And let's see what kind of distance this goes. Oh, it's not as far as I thought. Oh, you've you got to be fairly on... close to it, huh? You can have him on follow while you're walking around doing stuff. Yeah. That makes sense. Just at the same time, I kind of expect it's a big creature. I kind of expected it to be like a decent range. All right. Follow me, buddy. So does it show it actually going back? Yes, it does. What? Get out of here. Imagine going on metal runs with this. Okay. So think of how quickly you could level up if you had a strider on one of the asteroids with the mining drill. Oh my God. Because I leveled up so quick on the stream server over at twitch.tv slash cobra. Take this! Uh-oh. Slash cobras. Link in the description below if you want to see some Genesis 2 stream stuffs. Uh, I leveled up so fast on the asteroids with this mining drill. So that's really cool. So all this stuff then should now be in its inventory. Oh, dude, that is really cool. I like that. Let's go and set this to a dedicated storage. We have those, right? Yes, we do. Where's that at? At the side of the base over here. So I wonder if this consumes more charge if we leave it on this mining drill thing. It doesn't seem to be like a big deal at all, actually. It like drains, but then recharges back up super quick. Oh, there's the dedicated storage. Okay. I bet you I know what this is. These are these are superstructures dedicated storages. We probably uh, need a vanilla oh. one. Okay, well, let's throw down a vanilla one and not restart the server. And then we'll see about uh, linking these up. Okay. There's one regular one there now. One regular vanilla one. Uh, so I had to put a single item of whatever I wanted it to oh, be Oh, that makes in sense. Each of these. Deposit. No, I don't want to deposit. I want to withdraw. Okay, so like take one of his stone off and stick that in there. I mean, surely this collects flint, but I was just curious like if it would only put flint in there. I know it'll collect rocks, right? Okay, so we got this one that is set just to stone. Now, if I go in here, dedicated storage item, whatever thingy, link to nearby daddy storage, daddy storage. Okay, this shows stone though. That's his mining beam. Is he mining things? Uh, he will, yeah. Walk around the base. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> so all I did was click it once. So it is only seeking out stone because it's set to nice. that daddy storage. Now I'm curious how far this works from. I'm just gonna keep going. He's got a distance meter on him right now. Does he? To Deddy Storage, stone 10,044, distance 172.13 meters. But where do you see the distance that it can go? Or it uh, just shows the distance it, that it, it is? It says it right, yeah. It just shows how far he is right now. Okay. Keep running him, see how far Yeah, I want to see how far this goes out. What am I stuck on? I'm just going to keep on going. As long as it shows removed 1,000, whatever, then I'm going to assume, okay, it's still removing it. We're gonna test the boundaries. So it's not even something that you have to actively do. You just right click and he just goes crazy. It's still removing it. Okay, maybe there's just no more stone around, but he stopped. Uh, Surely. His charge ran out. Oh, his charge ran out. Well, I know how to fix that. Boom. It is still sending stone. I'm about to go underwater. You think this collects from underwater? I don't know. What if it just disables and self-destructs oh, no. self <laughs> underwater? Scotty, I'm still getting stoned. What do you think? A thousand? I have no idea. Would be I the limit? I didn't think you'd go this far. No, I didn't either. I do notice, though, that it is getting some... Like, last time it got metal and flint just then, so it wasn't just getting stone. Hmm. This thing has an oxygen bar. Uh oh. I'm about to drown our strider. No. <laughs> Scotty, there's a there's a there's a fat chance I'm about to drown this strider. I'm like out of stamina. Not out of stamina, I'm out of uh, I'm out of oxygen. Is there piranhas hitting me or is yeah, this just Yeah, he's being attacked by two piranhas. Okay, I didn't know. If... Piranha. I didn't know oh, if that was my health running. Nope, just a piranha. Okay, luckily I did not drown it. 1000 meters. This is insane. 1050. Oh, like, do we keep yes. going just to find the limits of it? I kind of wonder if it's map wide or not. I'm wondering too, because it is definitely still, still sending on all of the stone from here. We are 1,250 oh. meters. 
Dang, this Strider's doing the mating dance. Did you see that? Oh, I did. It was pop, locking, and dropping it. Like, at this point, I want to say it's map-wide. I mean, I feel like that's an early assumption because I haven't gone that, that far. But we're definitely a long ways from base, and it is still sending back stone. Now I'm trapped inside of a Bronto. I'm, a, I'm about to give up on walking to get stone with it. So I didn't really test out the melee on that one. I want to I wanna give a good stomp to something out here. And this is just the level 22 with 155% melee. I'm about to stomp on this Gallimimus' face. As soon as I can, I think I'm stuck on a tree. I'm unsure. I can't move. Something is happening, Scotty. You missed Scotty! Him. You missed him again? <laughs> well, he's to be my credit, he's very fast. I don't want to step on a turtle because it won't show the right damage numbers. Okay, I guess I'll step on a Bronto. Do the different uh, uh, stomp types do different damages? I don't know. What does that say? 105? 105. Okay, 105. Let me spin around to the old spinnerooski. Then I'll give him the old hind quarter kickerooski. You missed? I missed. I definitely missed. Is he kicking or not? No, well, he's kicking, but yeah, you keep missing. Okay, well, this is this is frustrating. Okay, 105. so it's 105 regardless. That's actually not bad. It's not why you get it anyways is the melee, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's not bad. It's not good from, like, what I would expect. There's definitely other creatures you would want to use in a melee fight, but uh, at least it can kind of, like, defend itself a little bit. We're about to check out the photo photon cannon anyway, so don't don't judge these, these seven damages. You know, against what, what it could be. We're about to see. On to the next one. So this one has the silence cannon rig and the shield generator rig. According to the wiki, the silence cannon fires a sonic pulse at its direction within a radius that disables roaring abilities of creatures such as the UD and the mammoth, which is really cool. Creatures are affected for 30 seconds as indicated by a blue smoke over the creature's heads. After this, there is a cooldown before they can be silenced again, as indicated by reddish smoke. Consumes 50 charge per pulse. Pfft, 50 charge. And then the other thing we had was the shield generator rig. Activates a shield around the strider with it and persists until either the durability reaches zero, charge is depleted, or it's turned off. Has a max durability of 30,001, but true durability seems to vary depending on the tamed strider's level. So, Scotty, we need you to be out of the tribe, and we need you to have a UD. Okay. That can be arranged. So you wish to challenge me, do you, Scotty? I do indeed, yeah. I dare you. I dare you to try and roar me. I dare you. <laughs> nope! Not today! Silenced you. Oh, that didn't work at all. Nope. Uh oh, that didn't stomped. work. Boop! Boop! Uh, right click! Right click! Right click! Uh-oh, I think I missed my chance. This is awkward for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm still gonna look up that way for a second. Aha! Now you fool! Oh, you're silenced. Try and roar again. Try it. You can't do it. You know why you can't I do can't. it? I can't. Because I oh, silenced no. you. Don't ever I'm come around my up. strider talking like that. Talking that noise. Because guess what'll happen? I'll shut you. Okay, I gotta get back on my team. Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so bite me just, real quick. You just wait 10 seconds and I'll be able to roar again. It shows you your cooldown, huh? Yep. And you just hit this for 224. Dang, that's pretty impressive. Huh, why don't you try now? With the simple click of a C button, I okay. have rendered you useless. I can walk right through that. Uh-oh. <laughs> what good is the bubble if I can walk right through Stay it? Stay out of my bubble! Okay, that's a little bit confused. I don't know. I was expecting you not to be able to walk through it. I was too, yeah. Very oh, weird. walk through it and smack you. We'll have to test that on wild dinos. Maybe that's a PvP thing. Can you shoot through it? This I shield... Maybe shooting, let me see. Yeah, the shield lasts forever. Okay, you oh, cannot shoot, shoot through, through it. it. But you can run through it. Yep. So what can I... What, let's find something I can tick off. Maybe another Strider? And see if it keeps them out. Maybe it's just a PvP thing? Okay. So I put my shield up. I hopped off. I should still... Oh, I can't even shoot out of it. I guess that's how force fields work, huh? So it just protects you from projectiles. Then. Yeah. Let me try and shoot this guy. And then get back on here. I feel like he's definitely going to walk through it. No problem, right? Oh, oh yeah. It. Okay, so it protects you from projectiles, not all damage in general. Well, now I've done it. Now I'm in a fight. This is awkward for me. Be gone, Strider. Oh, 
Okay, very cool. So this has the silence cannon, which keeps things from roaring and uh, doing their roar effects on you. And then it has the shield generator rig, which pretty much just protects you from projectiles, which is cool though. I was just expecting it to like work like some of the other force fields where like things can't even walk in there. You know what I mean? I'm glad yeah, it's not was... that way though. That would be really OP, don't you think? It would, yep. All right, two more down. Let's take a look at this one. This one has a radar rig and a phase cannon rig the wiki says the radar rig detects nearby living creatures of its distance and level for 30 seconds with the ability to temporarily track a detected t uh, creature doesn't require any charge but can only be used once every 35 seconds so that's the radar rig the other thing we had was phase cannon Fires a concentrated tech blast at the face direction, dealing 300 damage to creatures at the epicenter less further away in parentheses. So I guess 300 damage if you hit it directly and then it'll do less damage the farther they are from where you actually hit and destroying resource nodes. This damage does not increase with melee damage or strider level, consumes 50 charge and has a 10 second cooldown between blasts. It can also be fired while scoped in the spyglass to hit targets farther away. Hop on, hop off. Let's see. So let's just go ahead and start with the radar rig, I guess. That should be the click. I, th I think what it is is in order of, like the radar rig on the left-hand side should be the right click and then the phase cannon C, or I might have those backwards. I guess we'll find out. So let's go ahead and right click, change filter to only dinos, change filter to only humans. So we want to filter only dinos, because why not? Boom. Oh, I was not expecting that. Have you used this, Scotty? I have, yes. It not only tells the creature, it tells the distance and the level of said creature. Yup. So there's a 140 parasaur around here somewhere. And then like you look around, it highlights them even through trees and everything. And then there's your 140 parasaur. What in the world? And then it shows a little bar as it ticks down. Holy cow. It's so cool. That Great is for taming. Yes. That's actually really cool. That blew my mind. I was expecting it to, I don't know. I wasn't expecting that much detail. So if you hold down right click, you can change it to humans or dinos or whatever, which I bet it would be really nice in PVP applications. You're back in the tribe, aren't you? Yeah, I can leave again. <laughs> Is it a big deal for you to leave again, Scotty? No. I, I need you to leave. I need it because I, I want to play hide and seek with you. Okay, Scotty, I'm okay. going to close my eyes and you run away. And whenever my, okay. you got to go hide somewhere, uh, say from here to the mountain. And then I'm going to okay. scan and see if I can find you. You'll never find me. Oh, I'll find you. Okay, I honestly have no idea where you are. So I'm about to scan and see if I can find you, okay? Okay. Oh, this is cool. Boom. Uh... Oh, it says Tech Strider detected you. I had it on dinos only. Oh, but yeah. I changed it while the scan. So you can change it while the scan is going. Okay. Oh, I see you. You show up in red. You don't see me. You're behind that. Here. Mm. No, I am not. You're not? You'll never find me. What is this then, Scotty? I can't, oh. Not me. I missed. <laughs> Where did you go? Scotty, I can't I find you. I detected you. Did it though? <laughs> <laughs> Be gone, Vic. Oh, dude, that's really cool. So I was expecting you to have like a uh, white out outline like the wild dinos do, but you definitely have like a red outline, which made you Ooh. so much easier. Um, also, like I was saying, like it was counting down. I only had it on dinos by accident, but I changed it to humans like mid countdown and it actually like detected you. I didn't have to wait to do another scan. Nice. Dude, that's really cool. And then of course the phase cannon. <laughs> Ow. Oh, how did that not even get you? So the phase cannon is these big ear looking things, huh? Well, I guess that's the radar. The phase cannon is under the chest, but I yeah, noticed that they perked up. Chest. I think it perks up when his, uh, you've missed me completely. I think it perks up when his uh, radar is able to be used again. When it comes oh, up cooldown. that makes sense. I want to watch this shoost out. Let's see. Hey, I'm zooming out. I'm zooming out farther. Scotty, do not move, okay? Okay, not moving. <laughs> okay, this is awkward for me. Well, I did get that rock pretty good though, huh? That's true, you did. Well, I was in K mode, so I wasn't sure. Scotty, I'm going to hit you 100% dead on this time. Okay. Ow. Okay, that hurt. 
That's really weird though, because it had mentioned that it hits for 300 damage. I guess maybe it's your armor? Uh, it's just the, the basic 20 armor um, set. Okay, so that was hitting for 150. Luckily, you're not in the tribe, right? So you can't even... Yep. <laughs> okay, see you in a little bit. Okay. All right, so let's use this phase cannon on a couple different... We might as well just use it. Oh, that's actually a tamed strider. <laughs> I've abandoned them everywhere. I don't remember which ones are ours. I'm going to get just a smidgen closer. Guaranteed to hit my target. Okay, so it hits for 180. Maybe they nerfed it or something because the wiki says 300. I believe you, wiki. I really do. It's just not showing up in my tests. Let's try it one more time. Because I hit that thing dead on. Boom, once again. Okay, but it did hit him twice for 180. So that's like, unless there was something there I didn't see. So I guess technically 360. Either way, that's not, that's not terrible. That phase cannon is pretty cool. Okay, so we checked out the radar and the phase cannon now. Let me just abandon this one right here. I don't want the other ones to feel like they're, you know, this one's getting special treatment. This should be our last two attachments. All right, our last two attachments right here. We're looking at the pulse cannon rig and the shield protector, projector, projector, definitely projector rig. The pulse cannon rig, according to the wiki, fires repeated tech laser blasts at the targeted direction, dealing seven damage a hit. Okay, remember when I said don't pay attention to the seven damage? Pay attention to that, okay? The damage does not scale with melee damage or strider level. Maximum usage scales with charge capacity, uses five charge per shot. And then we have the shield projector rig. So the shield projector rig activates a shield in a specific direction of the strider and persists until either turned off or the durability reaches zero. Unlike the shield generator rig, it does not use charge. So we need to check out these two bad boys. Let's see. Scotty, I can only hope since we went so much trouble just to get you back into the tribe that we have to kick you out of the tribe again. Oh. <laughs> I've got my fingers crossed. We'll start off with the uh, pulse cannon and just see what kind of damage. I feel like it's going to be seven. Uh-oh, I stomped instead. <laughs> seven, definitely seven. I feel like it would take an eternity, seven shots at a time. Scotty, help. I've bitten off more than I can choose, Scotty. I'm helping seven shots at a time. There we go. There has to be a use for this, but does seven damage not feel like useless? It, it really does, yeah. So let me hit this turtle. I mean, it shoots really fast. So that's cool. Also, what level is this turtle? It is uh, 90. <laughs> is it even bloody? Nope. And also, once it's underneath me, I am completely screwed. I mean, you know, <laughs> from the the laser point of view. I'll actually do like way more damage now just stomping on it. Okay, well, that's the pulse cannon. If for some reason you wanted to use the pulse cannon, somebody in the comments will leave me some kind of reason why you would want to use the pulse cannon over other things. But me myself cannot think of it. It looks cool though, you know? Yeah, it does. Um, And then now we'll hit C and we'll try out the shield projector. So does this like toss a shield? Scotty, go down there. Yes. Quick run, I'll just throw a shield at you. Okay. But run directly in front of me. Here. <gasps> uh, okay. Okay, though. I wonder if creatures, maybe this one, creatures can't come through. I was wrong. <laughs> well, why would you choose this one over the other one then? Really, these have like PVP applications, like for maybe draining um, turrets or something. I don't know. That would make sense. But so would the other one, right? Yeah. I guess the big thing about this is uh, this one does not use charge. And so it'll, oh. um, you know, just persist until the durability reaches zero. So maybe that's a thing. It's not draining the charge at the same time. And what's the durability on this one? Does it have a durability on the shield itself? I didn't see one. What if we just shoot at it a bunch? Oh, we probably can't damage it, huh? <laughs> no. You know what, though? This one I can shoot out of. Oh. Right? Hold on. Let me just make sure I'm not lying. Yeah, you can. Oh, nice. okay. So you couldn't shoot. That makes a lot of sense. You couldn't shoot out of the other one, but you can shoot out of this one. Now, two. Sh it either just ran out of time or because it took like two shotgun blasts. Oh, and it shows on the bottom bar what his durability is, I believe. The shield's durability? 
Yeah, it shows 13,000 and something. Get up there and look. But it's red, so I can't put it back out. So, oh, okay. It does show 13,000. Okay, uh, shoot it from the outside. Okay, so that brought it down to 12,200. So it doesn't go down by itself. I'm curious. Can you shoot from the inside real quick? Yeah, shooting from the inside out does not bring down the durability. Okay, that makes more sense. Now I can see why you would want this over the other one for different applications. Okay, yeah, very cool. The other one have 30,000 and this one only has 13,000? Yeah, but I think that's fair being that you can shoot through it from, that, yeah, from this side and you right. can't the other one. So I think that's fair. So what? That's all eight of the different attachments, right? We've had the excavation yep. rig. The pulse cannon rig, the silence cannon rig, the radar rig, the phase cannon rig, the resource attractor rig, the shield generator, and the shield projector rig. Is there anything else you can think of that we really need to cover on these things? I don't believe so. Pretty easy to tame, very useful to have in some situations. Yeah, but get ready to grind through those missions. Yeah. Because that's, that's going to be the worst part of this for sure. <laughs> yeah, especially if you want a high level one. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. Because the 150s are how many? Uh, 49, I believe, 45, so like, 39, ugh, something like gosh. that. Gosh, I'm also torn, guys. Leave me a comment below if you know. On the stream server over at twitch.tv slash was definitely swing over there and give me a follow. I'd appreciate it. We did a mission and we did the alpha version and then it completed both the gamma and the beta for me. So it counted as three. But over here, when I was doing that, it did not do it. So let me know how that's supposed to work and how it's working on your servers. I don't know if it's a setting thing or what, but I know that it did it on one server and counted as three. And then I did it on another server and it definitely did not. But I think that uh, that's all there is to cover on the text striders. I hope this video wasn't too, too long, but I hope it was gave you all the information that you needed. If there's anything you feel like I missed, definitely. Did you step in front of me a fart? No. <laughs> if there's anything you feel like I missed, def oh Lord, speaking of missed, definitely drop ah. it in the comments below. It doesn't hurt my feelings. I just want to know I missed it. If you're interested in more Genesis 2 information, I'm definitely covering all the new stuff here on the channel, and I'm going to do a complete playthrough very soon, so I'd appreciate the sub. It would mean the world to me. If you've got a Twitter, my Twitter information should be in the description below as well. Hope you guys are having fun on Genesis 2. We'll see you later, dudes.